Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching part two. If you're new to the channel, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. If you want to see more Philadelphia Hood Tours, check out my Philadelphia Hoods playlist with over 200 plus Hood Tours. Currently, we are on the south side of Broad Street. We're going to be traveling broad north so that you guys can see where it ends. If you haven't saw part one, make sure to check out part one because I just did part one of this. I also did several other tours that were not narrated down this avenue. We're passing Flagship Drive. We're currently on the Naval Yard that's at the top of Broad Street. As you can see, we got the Nav C building on my right hand side, Command and Engineering Center. On my left hand side, we have the Urban Visitor Center. It's green light, so we're going to continue crossing. Passing Kitty Hawk Avenue. South Broad Street NAFAC building on my right hand side. South Broad Street building 679C. I'm sure that holds significant value to the people from the Naval Yard. On my right hand side, we see the Marine Parade Grounds. They have building 100 in Innovation Center, building 101, Navy Yard Corporate Center, parking, and Chappelle. And I see they have the sickness testing sites on my right hand side. There's a little sign right here on a picket, a little picket um, sign. Yeah. At the 17 bus stop right here on Constitution. Constitution Ave. They have many trees. We have a lot of historical buildings back here. I'm going to merge onto the right lane. We're now merging. Approaching us, you're gonna see a, a really long, it looks like a like a like a gun from one of them ships. You see it laying right there, it's long, it's tube-like, it's like a cylinder. Yeah, I think that holds much significant value. Yeah, it, it definitely is a, a, a gun. It's the gun to one of these ships. On part one, you guys can see a little bit more of the ships that were on my left-hand side. All right, so it's green light. Naval testing site on my right-hand side. We have a Loomis uh, armored truck that just passed us on my left-hand side, probably carrying big bucks. This gentleman right here spraying what seems to be fertilizer. He's spraying fertilizer on the grass no that might not have even been fertilizer that might have been i don't know something but he was spraying something on the grass it looked like like one of them bug sprays but why would he spray bug spray on the grass in the winter or on the dirt in the winter maybe it was something to enhance the growth we have a police officer highway patrol in front of us We're now exiting the Navy Yard. Passing Leagues Island Boulevard. League Island Boulevard. You can get on 95 South, you can get on 76 West, and more. They have the highway right on top of us. You see that underpass we're about to pass? It's on Terminal Ave. It takes you to 11th Street. We're in South Philadelphia. On my right hand side, you'll see the sports complex. For many of you guys who like sports, basketball, football, baseball, um, hockey, and more. That's the Wells Fargo Center on my right. They have the Lincoln Financial Field on my right. And several other areas where you can go for entertainment. The Phillies Baseball Stadium, Citizens Bank Park, Xfinity uh, Plaza. It's, it's like a little section where you can drink, have beer, watch sports indoors and whatnot. Yeah, Comcast Xfinity Live. Have event parking that's reserved. Patterson Ave leads to Access Road, which is parking. Food distribution center on my right and the port facilities on my right. We have NRG station. It's a subway, Broad Street Line. You can get on that Broad Street Line and travel up and down Broad Street. We're passing Patterson Ave. Patterson Ave has all of our sports complexes. So if you guys are here in the city, you want to visit Patterson Ave. Passing Citizens Bank. Parking. Looks like they're sponsored by Toyota because they had a giant 
Toyota like 3D display. Passing Geary Street, we have residential homes on my right hand side. They have their own off street parking. Beautiful little homes, two story homes, cobblestone fronts, A tops. Um, it looks like they have raised lawns, two stairways. Take them up to the front door. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Packer Ave. That's the entrance for the Walt Whitman Bridge on my right hand side. Guys, as always, you guys are more than welcome to comment, share your thoughts, share your stories, share your memories. We're passing Pollock Street. We're passing another residential zone on my left and on my right. As always, I don't know it all. I don't claim to know it all. I'm only a human being. I'm not Google. I'm not Siri. So if you want to chime in, share your thoughts, share your memories, help me out a little bit, feel free. We're passing Bigler Street. We're passing a park. I flew drone footage in here before. Really nice view. Marconi Plaza, photo driver's license center on the right. This is a photo enforced area, means they will snap a picture of your tags and send you a ticket in the mail if you eat this red light. We're passing Oregon Ave. Oregon Ave, Snyder Ave, Tasker, all of these little avenues hold significant value in the Philadelphia mob world. You know, this is like the Italian part of the city, especially when you get to like more like 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th Street. They were on my left side too, but dropping a few gems. We got Johnny Chang's on my right. Chinese restaurant and sushi bar. Superior Physician Therapy on my right hand side. We're on Shunk Street. You got Hot Hand Studio and Spa. Massage and Facial Spa. Goldstein, Goldstein's Clothing, Long and Foster Real Estate, Olivia Jewelers, Petal Pusher Flowers, D Marino Chiropractic Center, Bambi One Hour Cleaners on Porter Street, Porter, Fumo Family Branch of, of Library, Free Family Branch, we got Performing Arts Building, B Tan Tanning Salon on my right hand side, you got the number four bus here, you can get on the bus, we're passing Rittner. We got South Philly Jefferson Methodist Hospital um, on my right. We're currently passing Wolf Street. We have a Wells Fargo Bank on my right. We have Starbucks Coffee on my right. We have a TD Bank on my right. Punch buggy, no punch back. Sock the first person next to you because it's tradition to sock somebody when you see a uh, punch buggy. Nah, don't, don't sock nobody. <laughs> Don't sock the person next to you, give them a hug. All right, so, oh, we got Jackson Street. Oh, I see another punch buggy. Man, y'all gonna have to sock somebody twice. It's like, nah, did we just pass a nice Cadillac, a coupe Cadillac? It was green too, and I like green. Passing South Philadelphia High School on my right hand side. You guys can't really see it. It was off in the tuck, but South Philadelphia High School. We're right here at Snyder. Ave, Snyder Avenue, for those of you who are from the area and desire me to say Snyder. I think when I did that Philly mob video, there was so much going on through my mind. I probably slipped and said street or just said Snyder in general. And a lot of people felt very passionate about me, including the Ave. Yeah, I've seen Ave my entire life. It just it tends to happen when you have a speech impediment and you're thinking about a hundred things, including driving and operating a station vehicle. There's a lot that goes on through your head. All right, we're passing Snyder Avenue. Phew, the Cadillac flew by us. Uh, Popeyes, Boost Mobile, h &R, Rite Aid, Snipes, Rainbow, Dollar Value, and more. McKean Street, we're now at McKean Street. Yo, it would have been really cool I mean, I don't know how cool it, 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 it would have been, but I'm thinking of it in this sense. Let me explain to you. Remember the days in the 1920s when they were all given the Ford Model T the cars and, and, and whoever had a car, they all had the same looking car. They were all black. They were all the same Ford Model. They all had the same speed limit. We're passing Mifflin Street. It would have been cool to have that era still probably close to it exist or something close to it where everybody drove the same car and some didn't have more horsepower than others. Some didn't have 
more speed than others. Like everybody was forced to travel the same distance, like maybe a living, like like a limiter, like a governor. You know, that'd be so neat because they, they, yo, that Cadillac's out. He just zipping, swerving through traffic. We're passing Moore Street, but yeah, people will drive so rageful. Passing Castle Ave, passing Bethany Church. We're passing Moore Street, and when you operate a vehicle, you're not only um, putting your own life at risk, but you're also affecting everybody else on the road. So you have to take that into consideration when you're driving. Be courteous of others, because the world does not revolve around you. Philadelphia Gas Works building on my right. We're passing Tasker, Tasker Street. We're passing MBI Medical Solution Center. We have some more residential homes. These homes are nice. They're three story. They're pretty big. I think some are apartments, but they're nice looking and they're well kept. They're the facade on the front of these buildings on my right. We're passing Dickinson, Para Dentistry. This golf in front of us is sporting the raised fish sticker. It's like a bumper sticker right below their Volkswagen logo. Integrity Assur Assurance Agency on my right, located on Reed Street. Passing Victor L. Baldi Funeral Services. We are currently passing Wharton Street. We are now stuck at Wharton Street. On my left hand side, we got Terra Nova Funeral Home, Dignity, Quality, and Understanding. We must be understanding of our fellow human beings for we are all one, one entity, one higher conscious. We have Luke Oil Gas Station on my right with a little teeny weeny cute baby, little pip squeak mini mart. Little teeny weeny blip that goes little teeny weeny cute little teeny <laughs> mini mart that thing is so small looks it looks like a shack um retail space available armory lofts five urgent care wow speaking of lofts i heard something mind blowing look i'm gonna make the sound effect because it blew my mind the other day right i'm gonna plant the seed somebody once said what's the difference from a projects to a loft or to a condo, to a luxury apartment, like one of the tall sky rises that are considered luxury apartments, we're passing Federal Street. What is the difference from a projects to a loft? This person, I'm gonna quote them, said, the conditioning, the mental conditioning, the end. That's the end of my story. We're passing Broad Street Diner. We're passing Ellsworth. We're passing Alter Street, which has a pretty new dandy sign. Looks neat. Doesn't look like any other street sign in Philadelphia. Why do they get a special sign? Why why, why can't we get a special sign? <laughs> I want a special sign too down North Philly. We got this Comcast vehicle in front of us. <laughs> it says, thank you for respecting social distancing. 10 feet. Transit 250. How's my driving? Call blank, 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 blank. Xfinity.com, 1-800-XFINITY. Customer, yo, how am I giving them a free Comcast commercial? Yo, Comcast, y'all gotta sponsor my channel. What's up with that? <laughs> it's cool, they don't they don't love me, they don't love me. All right, on my right-hand side, we got a sign that says Italian Market. So if you make a right, you go down to the Italian Food Market. South Street, I mean South Street, South Broad Street Avenue of the Arts. We're passing Washington Ave. On my left, that whole shopping building was made new. This Kia just jumped in front of us with no turn signal. <sighs> if you guys haven't watched part one, watch part one. Watch part one, I explained the tailgaters and everything. We're passing Carpenter Street and how Murphy's Law, like, it don't matter. Just stay in your lane. Like, you're going to get there regardless. Don't rush. <laughs> just take your time. Allow proper bumper space. We're passing Christian. Dunkin' Donuts. We got Alex Auto Tags. When I bought my little meet meet, when I bought my little scooter from South Philly Scooters, I had to go to Alex Auto Tags to get my tags done. Passing Catherine. Yeah, my meet meet. I call it a meet meet because when I press the horn, it goes meet meet. So I take pride in owning a meet meet. And I developed the meet meet squad. <laughs> so if any of any of y'all got meet meeps. And y'all be willing, or even if you don't willy and you just want to go and cruise with the meet meet squad, we could go meet meet all through the city. 
But I forewarn you, I'm gonna be willy in this whole bra street, so. <laughs> I like to willy the meat meat. Two stroke, two stroker, two smoker. Here's a little fun fact for all of you. Two strokes sound more high pitched and they use two stroke fluid. You have to manually put it or they have an injection system that mixes it with the gas. Hence, two stroke. They sound like dirt bikes. They're high pitched, more like higher decibel. Four strokes have the silent mufflers unless you change it to an aftermarket muffler. They sound deeper, more tonal, and they do not use two stroke fluid. They do have motor fluid, but they have valves. Two strokes have a, 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 a uh, piston. Uh, four strokes have valves. We have engine one, ladder five on my right, which is a fire department located on Broad Street on Kenilworth Street. It looks like they're doing some work right here. So the street's blocked off. Yep, street is, they are in the middle of this street. I guess they need it. They need it. So if they need it, you gotta give it to them. Yeah, they're, they're doing some type of construction here. I guess somebody was playing Monopoly they came bought some prime real estate right here on Kenilworth from Broad. And they're about to build, baby. They are about to build, build, build. Money can buy just about anything. Just about. Yeah, we're on Bainbridge. Yep. That's prime real estate. To own this is like owning one of the best cards in the board game Monopoly. I'm pretty good at that game. Like, I'm really good. Like, I make people go bankrupt. I'm really good at, at Monopoly. Um, Drama Cafe, am I right? South Street and more. Passing City Diner, South South Star Lofts, Philadelphia Senior Center on my right. Shout out to all my seniors. <laughs> Shout out. I'm, I, I had to give y'all a round of applause because y'all have been a very supportive bunch throughout my journey of tours. And you would think like the youngsters would be like more supportive, but I think they hear my my terminology and my lingo and my, my lingo and my proper pronunciation of the English vocabulary. And they think like I'm a 70 year old gentleman myself or like some 50 year old privileged dude from the suburbs. But nah, son, I was born in the streets of Philly, North Philly, you know what I mean? But I don't really like to talk like that because that's nothing to be proud of. Turn it on, turn, turn it off. You gotta know when to be professional when necessary. That's how you get the bag. That's how you get the money, young gentlemen and ladies. We just passed Lombard Street, passing Serenity Nails, a psychic center, psychic place if you wanna get to get your psych on. Passing University of Arts on my right. We're passing Pine Street. This is prime, prime real estate. Yo, we got a super long line on my right. What is that about? A really, really long line. Whoa, that line is super long. What are they giving away here? Whoa, that line was beyond long. That line was like a half a block long. Probably some type of medical um, center or something. We're on Spruce Street. On my left-hand side, we got the Kindle Center for Performing Arts. On my right-hand side, we got... I just see a big pen made fresh as can be truck that just drove by and blocked my view. But Wilma at Broad or, or what? I said Broad. I completely made that up. I'm sorry, y'all. There's a sign blocking the rest of the word. It says Wilma at something. I really have to use the laboratory or the, or, or the lavatory or the DD. Get out of my laboratory. See, that's an old school joke that not many people gonna understand, but 90s babies. Um, that is the Aurora. Wilma at Aurora. That's what we just passed. Passing some public parking. Passing the Double Tree by Hilton, which is probably a hotel. Passing Locust Street. You can enter the subway. All the all, up and down Broad Street, you can enter the subway. Uh, passing Cambria, which is probably like another hotel type of situation. University of Arts. We got a little Wawa on the right. Shout out to Rosati, One Way Corey, and all the little youngins that ride bicycles down here i know this is their favorite spot to ride bikes and wheelie at and mob the streets they often come here to this wawa on my right like 200 pedal bikes deep 100 pedal bikes deep on like a low day like 50 pedal bikes deep and they practice around here and they wheelie when i was a kid we rode bikes throughout the whole city i didn't just stay in center city but you know i guess they like the atmosphere down here um walnut street we're passing walnut street we had a beautiful building on my left. Y'all saw that? It looks like a mansion, like in the heart of the city. But I'm sure it's a city building. We're passing Samson. We passed the Hip City Ridge. It's my spot. Um, we're passing the Capitol Grill, Chestnut Street. We got Walgreens on my right. We have City Hall in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. The historic City Hall. We are now making a right on South Penn Square. Put my turn signal a little too last minute there. My bad. 
I'm a real stickler for the when you turn on your signal. Uh, we got Juniper Street on my right. We're going around City Hall. For those of you who didn't watch part one and just continue to watch part two, what I explained about this earlier, we're coming to Market Street. We're now stopping at Market. What I explained about this earlier is Broad Street runs from top to bottom. <sighs> I just yawn. Comment below if you yawn too, because yawning is contagious. Why is that? Does anybody have an answer on why yawning is contagious? Well, anyway, they built City Hall right on Broad Street, so that's why this is called Center City. This is the center of the city. So we're right now in Center City, Philadelphia. And I really have to use the bathroom. Let me tell y'all a fun fact. It, well, it wasn't that fun when I was a kid, but my teachers didn't let me go to the bathroom when I was a kid. Like, they were really strict. Like, if you, especially if you had to go bathroom a lot, they, they didn't let you. Like, they thought you were just playing in, in, in the bathroom. But no, I really had to go bathroom. So what I would do is I had to go bathroom so bad that I would shake back and forth and rock the chair. And there were metal legs, so they used to make noise. And the teachers used to get mad and let me go anyway. <laughs> passing Commerce Street. Now we're passing the Notary Hotel on my right-hand side. We got the courts. You don't want to be there, ladies and gentlemen, for no reason whatsoever. Um, you see the Comcast Center and the skyline. You see Philadelphia's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skyline. People taking photos and whatnot, making a right on Broad Street. We're passing the Masonic Temple, the first Masonic Temple, number one in Philadelphia on my right-hand side. Passing Prayer Chapel. We are now currently passing Arch Street. We have Chase Bank on my right, the Aloft Hotels, um, or Lofts, I should say. We have the Pennsylvania Convention Center on my right-hand side. Shout out to my homie Ramon, my brother from another mother, my high school homie. We was um, in the nursery together when we was babies. No, seriously, we were born in the same hospital. He was born on the 20, he was born on the 19th. I was born on the 20th. He's one day old, older than me. So that basically means that our parents probably passed each other in the maternity room. And who knows, you know, we were probably literally in the same baby room where they keep all the little babies, the little pipsqueaks. We were probably there talking about some goo goo, gaga. Yeah, because we like a lot of the same interests as we grew up. So anyway, he works here. He manages like the air conditioning and heating and all that uh, of this building. He's in a union, but yeah. So we're passing Cherry Street. This uh, convention center addition wasn't here many years ago, but they made it recently. We're passing Ray Street, Jake's Catering, Jake's Pizza and Grill. We're passing Drexel Medicine, one of their buildings in Center City, Drexel Medicine. Now we're passing Hanneman Hospital. On my left, it's closed down now. Um, oh man, that dude is so far. I would really love to give him some assistance. If I jump out and leave my car here, I might have enough time. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. They, they gonna be mad at me, y'all. Uh. I made it back in time. Woohoo! Sorry, guys. I saw the dude in in the wheelchair, and I really wanted to give him a dollar. And I didn't just want to talk about it and not make the effort. So the red light blessed us long enough to for me to jump out, give him a dollar, give him a buck. I ain't got much, but if I have something, sharing is caring. It was once said that if you won't share, if you won't share ten cents out of a dollar when you have nothing, what makes the universe or God think that you're gonna share when you become a millionaire? You know what I mean? So it's always a good thought to, even if you ain't got it, come on, we all ain't got it. You just got to help somebody out there. So he's out there in a wheelchair. His his leg looked it really badly kept. I don't know if it's like he was missing a leg. I don't know if it was rotted, because rotted, I've seen some people waiting in wheelchairs before that had like rotted legs. I don't know if it's from diabetes or whatever. But anyway, long story short, that's what that ruckus was. I just jumped out the vehicle, ran back there, gave him a dollar, and then ran back into the car yeah i've been trying to do that like more often than than none and i don't like talking about it but it would have been on my conscience if i drove straight up broad street look at look how long we were waiting out this light everybody could have jumped out there and gave him a dollar but to each his own some people believe you sh you shouldn't um we're passing vine street just the vine expressway some people believe like you shouldn't spoon feed them or you shouldn't ba baby them or whatever blah 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 like you're teaching them bad but listen I'm not one to judge. Oh man, do not leave me here because then I'm gonna get a red light ticket. There's like a flashing red light here. This bus is blocking me. No, man. All right, Roman Catholic School on my right hand side. It was made in 1890. Yeah, that sucks, right? Imagine. Then I get stuck in the street and they take a picture and think that I ate the red light. All right, we're on Pearl Street. Pearl Street is actually runs right into Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. All these gentlemen here, and, and, and I think it's a boys' school, y'all. Look, this Mercedes is about to cut me off. It's insane. 
New Jersey and he's on his phone. That's the stuff that God just give me the strength, give me the power to deal with the nuisance or the nuisance that these people provide me while I'm on the road from day to day life. I ask him to protect me and he will continue to protect me. Protect my anger, protect my temper, protect my emotions, guard my emotions. It's not worth shedding valuable en energy to people who, you know, he's probably a much older gentleman. He's probably in his forties. He's probably has a, a full home with acres of land, driving a Mercedes, living in the garden state, but doesn't know how to give common courtesy to another vehicle on the road. Amazing spectacular of course i'm being sarcastic but yeah we got the pennsylvania ballot on my right hand side we got a cafe on my right hand side parkway parking these two buildings on my right and on my left this whole block is new there was nothing or there was probably something here but they knocked it down oh and i and, and i miss showing y'all the wanna makers building yeah stuff happens but anyway it's it's in one of my walking tours if y'all see my my christmas special hey the person on my left Try to cut everybody off and he drove into this little teeny weeny cute spot. That's what he gets. That's called karma. That's exactly what he gets. We're passing Noble Street. Yeah, guys, you have to be patient. If you learn anything from me, you're going to learn that I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> I'm only human. I have so many flaws you cannot imagine. But the part of growing and the part of growth is to understand where your flaws lie and every day to work on becoming better than you were yesterday. You know, I used to tell the youngsters that I used to work with, don't try to be like me, try to be better than me. You know what I mean? It takes one act of kindness and it, it'll go a long way. All right, so now we're passing Noble Street. Check out this little Levy's hot dog train thing on my right. I'm sure some of the OG residents know when that used to be up, but yeah, there's like a little diner right on Broad Street, but they use an old train cart. We're passing Hamilton Street. We're passing Buttonwood Street. We got DeVita on my right. <laughs> I have no idea what DeVita is. Shaps Corner Luncheon. Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I've been battling lately because I'll be doing pretty good. I don't really socialize with many people on a day to day life. Like, I'm not around, uh, you know, a bunch of people to get to rub up, have their energy rub off on me and none of that. So I don't put myself in crappy places. But I tend to get put in crappy situations when I'm in traffic. And if you can't maintain your energies or protect it when you're in traffic, boy, you're going to blow up a lot when you're driving here in Philly. You gonna wish it was Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Spring Garden, we're passing Brandywine. And what I mean by Grand Theft Auto is in Grand Theft Auto, you could throw a C4 on a car, like a sticky bomb, or like, <laughs> like, yo, like, listen, if this was Gr Grand Theft Auto, a lot of people would be in trouble. Because let's just say, you are gonna have cars getting blown up left and right the way these people drive. We're passing a congregation of Rode, Rode Shalom, I'm sorry, a house of prayer. Passing Mount Vernon, passing Clementine Stable, passing what used to be a Midas Breaks, passing Wallace Street, Santucci's, Original Square Pizza and Bar, passing Studebaker's, passing Golden Cuisine. We're passing Jimmy G Steaks on my right hand side. I'm purposely staying behind this bus, guys, just so that you guys can take in the scenery on my right. If I go in the middle, then yeah. We're not gonna be able to see much, but Jimmy G Steaks, they kind of made that uh, a couple years ago, within the last decade. I ain't never eat from there, but yeah. Right in front of us, you got the Divine Lorraine building. You see that? So that building holds some historical value. It was abandoned for many years. People were exploring it, you know, urban explorers, graffiti artists were graffitiing on the building, hanging off the building, doing graffiti all up and down and inside and around about the building. But within the last, I believe around the time that Eagles won, the 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 what is it the super bowl right yeah so when they won around that era within the last five years or so they started rehabilitating the divine lorraine cleaning off the graffiti they redid the windows they pressure washed the building they brought it back to life they restored it and now it is a hotel once again rent today find your divine rent today live in a landmark you see so that's a landmark that's why they didn't knock it down the Divine Lorraine Hotel. 
We're passing Ridge Ave. Oh, they made an Audi supermarket right here. Wow, that's new. I've never seen that. That's new. Uh, the Salvation Army, Eastern Pennsylvania and Delaware on Fairmount. Salvation Army again, Red Shield family residence. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around this bus for the purpose. Yeah, because he's he don't really have anybody in front of him. We'll make it right. This is the nice spot for car wash right there, y'all. It's the self-serve. It's called East Coast Car Wash. If you're from Philly, go there, my guys. It's only two bucks. And if you like to wash your own vehicle, I do. I don't like nobody washing my vehicle. You can't pay me to let you wash my vehicle. I mean, maybe, maybe if you give me a million dollars, and maybe, maybe I might, but I'm gonna have to su supervise you. But no, I prefer to wash my vehicle. We're on Paris Street. You got Pet Boys on my right, Dunkin' Donuts. On my left, you got the Met. They just restored that. Watch part one. I also passed the Met. Now they do concerts and all that stuff there. We're passing Poplar. Renda Center and several more shopping buildings. Yeah, so about me washing cars. When I was a kid, I used to wash like five cars back to back. Like I used to love washing cars. Like my pop used to have a couple cars and I used to wash them. Like pull them up, wash them, pull up the next, wash them, wash them, wash them. Gerard, we're passing Gerard Avenue. We got a McDonald's on my right, checkers on my left, neighborhood discount on my left. I think there used to be a little school right here on my right, like a high school. Kids used to dress down. I don't know what type of high school it was, but yeah. Got DTLR, a fashion store on my right. We're on Thompson. We got many new buildings on my right and new buildings on my left with some old buildings in the middle of the new buildings on my left. The architecture on these buildings is pretty. They just painted them so bland and brown, like they need to colorize them a little bit. Passing Master Street, we got the Leon H. Sullivan Humans Resources Center on my right, located on 1415 Broad Street. Beautiful buildings on my left, very historical looking. Temple Nest apps on my right, apartments, <laughs> it's just a banner. Jefferson Street on my right, I actually did training in that building before, PHFC training. Um, Sullivan, we're passing the French Grocers. This is a historical plaza right here. I think this was one of the first African-American plazas in Philadelphia. Yeah, right there, Oxford. And yeah, we're back on Temple University campus. On my left and on my right side, this is all Temple Domain. Temple owns a lot of, of stake on, on Broad Street. Mainly this side of Broad Street, I would say the north side, because as you can see, when we went down the, the south side, there wasn't much Temple real estate, but Temple owns a lot down here. Passing Cecil B. Moore Ave. We got the entrance to the subway on my right, to the Broad Street line. Passing Rock Hall Auditorium. Passing the Leocora Center, where they do you know some college basketball, and they do graduations. Montgomery Garage, we're passing Montgomery. Um, right here on my right hand side, these are historic Temple University buildings. For those of you who don't know, I think Bill Cosby was was a professor here at Temple and he also went to Temple. Y'all could correct me if I'm wrong. Passing Pilot Walk. Pilot Walk is like the heart of Temple University campus, college campus. You have students that come from all over the world to come visit this campus right here, located in where? Philadelphia, in the middle of the hood, because Temple campus is literally in the middle of the hood in North Philadelphia. Norris Street, yeah, literally, like Temple. <laughs> And I used to go to this campus when I was a kid. I have all access. I had an ID and I used to use their gym. I used to use their cafeteria. The food was awesome. It was an all-you-can-eat buffet. I was 14 years old coming to Temple University. Um, we're at Diamond Street, passing McDonald's. If you guys want to know what program I was in, I was in a Young Scholars program, YSP. Kids who, you know, I guess, you know, looked like they were going to go somewhere. I guess I didn't go nowhere because I'm still stuck in Philly. <laughs> That was a joke. We're passing Susquehanna Ave. Yeah, but yeah, I had like a scholarship to go to Temple and I didn't take it because I didn't want to go to Temple. Ended up going somewhere else and getting a degree. Um, we're passing the Doll Museum. Wow, Philadelphia Doll Museum. Passing Dolphin Street. I'm talking to someone's giving me a headache. I wonder if it's giving y'all a headache. We're passing Alfonso Funeral Services. That's why you got them pimped out Hearsts, Cadillac Hearsts. You got this building on my right. It became a department store, but it looks like it used to be a bank. Passing York Street, gas station, passing none of us are all home until we're home, the Ruth Williams house. Uh, I guess it's the project home, that's what it says. Presents project home. Um, Auto Zone on my right, passing Sunny Diner on my right, Sunny's Diner on Cumberland. On my left, we got City Temple Baptist Church. On my right, we got so a used car dealership, Matrix Auto Center. Then we got this ancient building on my right, American Metal and Rubber Incorporated. Then we got this beautiful building on my right, North Broad Street 
Redding Company. Yeah, it's called the Redding Company. It looks beautiful. On my left, we got some car wash. People washing cars there. Obviously, I don't go there. We got some encampments on my right. We got a couple tents. Wow. People sleeping out here on Broad Street. On my left, we got Sunoco. There's an ambulance there. I don't know if something happened to somebody. Uh, we're passing Lehigh. Lehigh Avenue. Boost Mobile, Philly Wireless. I seen a police car on my right. We got a fruit salad and smoothie truck on my right. Passing North Philadelphia train station. Silver Street, we're officially in North Philadelphia and we'll eventually be leaving North Philadelphia. We're going to Uptown, passing Seltzer, passing Somerset. We are now passing Rush Street. We have Eli's Grocery on my right, Broad Street Chinese Garden, Wells Fargo, Broad Street Line. See, this is North Philadelphia, because even on the train entrance right here on the subway line, it says Broad Street Line, North Philadelphia Station. It's located right here on Glenwood Ave. Yo, I'd be tripped out if they use my voice for like some type of automated service. Like, you know, you call, you know, a line and they say, hello, thank you for choosing Tarmac Corporation, established in 1963, celebrating over 50 years of service. For help, please press one. To get release traps, please press two. <laughs> Yo, I'm shout out, son. Um, Y'all gonna have to Google what shout out means. Say nah. Um, so we passing Glenwood, gas station, passing Home Gallery, Temple University Hospitals are located four blocks up northbound. On my right hand side, I think this was a little social security or welfare building. I don't know. I do not know. Oh, uh, Social Security. It says it right there. Social Security Administration. <laughs> I'm yawning. Comment if you yawn. If you yawn, comment, comment. I'm about to spray some of this um, fragrance. I have some car freshener that I just feel like spraying. And that's strange. <coughs> Ugh, this stuff's so strong. That's strange. Let me tell y'all a fun fact. Y'all want to know a fun fact about tune? I don't like fragrances. My woman doesn't need to wear fragrance. My wife, she doesn't need to wear any fancy fragrances. I don't care about colognes, even though I did wear a little bit of Curve and Cool Water and stuff when I grew up. Sedgley. But when I go into like the fragrance aisle in the store, ooh, I get the most biggest headache of a lifetime. Passing Toronto Street. Now we're passing Clearfield Street. I shot a music video right here at this gas station. Um, ugh. Oh man, that's kind of strong. I, <laughs> I gotta roll, roll down the window. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I could tolerate that one. I've trained myself to tolerate it, but I don't like fragrances. I don't need fragrances. Um, Allegheny, we're passing Allegheny. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan on like, you know, people go to the to the fragrance aisle and they're like, mm, that smells good and that smells, no, it gives me the strongest headache of a lifetime. And I still have to use the bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. We are driving by the Maurice H. Kornberg School of Medicine. Oh man, I think open up the window made me remember that I have to use the bathroom because the cold hit me. <laughs> now I feel like I got a hiccup. Oh man, I used the bathroom big time though. All right, so we're passing Rising Sun Ave in Westmoreland. Rising Sun crosses over to Westmoreland. This is like now entering the nice town Tioga section of Philadelphia. Tioga section on my right, nice town on my left. It could be a little further up too, but I really gotta use the bathroom, so I'm not thinking accordingly. Passing Ontario Street, on my right hand side, we got Temple University Hospital, the J. Willett and Mari F. Uh, Boyer Pavilion. I was actually in here too before for like classes. I remember being a youngster coming here for like a class trip. Uh, we're passing Tioga Street, like we saw like lungs that were tarred and had you know from long years of tobacco usage. We got a chance to feel like bad lungs and then sadly enough to say we got a chance to feel nice lungs and look at them Shriners Hospital for Children on my right hand side left lane must turn left we are currently passing Venango on my left hand side we have Zion Baptist Church on my right hand side we have Easy Bargain the store that saves you money <laughs> yeah City View Pizza Compassionate uh, what's that Caretakers on my right it's for senior citizens Wireless world on my right. I'm assuming that's technology. Yeah, repair, buy, sell, trade. We got 99 cent deal, 59 cent, everything. What? Since when? That that store must be out of business because we're in a new age. The economy went up. Ain't 59 cent nothing. We're passing Erie. Erie Ave. For those y'all who want me to say Ave. We're passing Germantown Ave. For 
those y'all who want me to say af check out this church on my right it's a pretty nice looking church isn't it isn't it nice there's a checkers on my right that's completely closed i used to love checkers fries Woo! i used to love let me tell you what i used to love from checkers i haven't eaten checkers in over four years no probably yeah four four yeah give, give or take four a little four and a half right so but i used to eat the french fries was popping there was on bean.com meaning it was good i used to eat their onion rings i don't even think they sell onion rings no more but i used to love those and i used to love 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 their strawberry milkshakes oh i used to love the milkshakes the milkshakes used to be life i don't drink that no more it's been over four years since you know i've, I've had that stuff so we're on butler we're passing jesus christ it, wow this mr bc just jumped right in front of us passing multicultural academy charter school love is hope i see that written on the wall and this person just got the vehicle you see they got the new registration tag on their window i don't know if you can see it on the left hand side they get new vehicles and they feel entitled to just fly by people oh the person on my left too the malibu that's that new registration vehicle too i guess it's income tax yeah it's the beginning of the year for all y'all that filed income taxes and stuff and got a bajillion kids Y'all about to get the bag, son. And then with all the stimulus going on, oh, they driving that stimulus whip. <laughs> I'm going to call that the stimulus whip. Stimuli whip. All right, I already used the bathroom, y'all, so please bear with me. We're passing Yummy Yummy Garden on Pike Street. Passing Early Learning Center. Passing a Baptist church. Passing Broad Street Auto Repair. We're passing Pops. Pop and Sons Tire and Auto Repair. We're passing Anchor Auto Spring Service. Passing Curveball Street. We're approaching Route 1. Passing Lycoming Street. Passing Colwyn Street. Red Light and Forest means they will give you a ticket if you eat this red light on Huntington Park. Oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. I need to invent something that I'm able to use. Like you know, when you're on the road, you need to use the bathroom while you're in the middle of driving. It might be complicated though without making a mess on yourself because I gotta take a leak, a faucet. I gotta take a a, a drip drop, <laughs> a drip drop, a little. All right, so doo, 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 doo. we buy houses. I despise those signs. All right, we're passing Hunting Park Ave. Now let me tell y'all something about the we buy houses. I've been getting a lot of email offers, like often. Like I've been getting off, like wow. Like for the last couple of years, I've been getting like free objects for like doing un unboxings and everything because I have many unboxings on my channel. We're passing Roosevelt Boulevard. We are currently passing Bristol Street. On my right hand side, we have Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Masons. Yeah, this is a, a, a Mason Lodge right, right there on Broad Street. Passing St. Luke Street and we're passing Cayuga. All right, let me shut up for a little bit and continue what I was talking about. So I've always received like emails pertaining to, to like giving me free products to unbox and test and try on my channel. I haven't did that in you know a few months. I've been turning on a lot of them because a lot of the products don't even correspond with my channel. But the last month or two, I've been receiving a bunch of offers. People offer me free content, free this, free that. Passing Blavis, we're passing Wing of Hawking. Um, partnerships here, partnerships there. I'm sorry, I work so low. I'm, I just I like to manage my own workflow. I don't like to clash heads with any other entity. So I'm perfectly fine working all alone, right? But there's this gentleman. I don't know how accurate or true this was. He or she could be watching right now. But we're passing Belfield Ave and Cortland Street. The gentleman basically proposed to me that he's a major investor in real estate, and he seen he he's watched my videos and he he feels that I can be the perfect candidate and that I know the town well enough to visit he, he he gave me an area that he wanted me to visit and go check out and capture footage of because him and his his team are interested in purchasing a large amount of quantity in that neighborhood and building i don't know some type of sky rise complex duplex or some type of condo i don't know they're trying to build something basically long story short they wanted my help to go to that neighborhood scope it out for them give them i guess a walking tour video tour or something and upon them executing and, and, and signing off on the deal and making their, their money, I could potentially benefit. I don't know if it was gonna be like a percentage. I doubt it, like those people probably don't even care, but they wanted me some way, somehow 
to capitalize. They're coming from out of state, from several states away to come. No, sir. No, sir. Either. You're going to have to come down here yourself. And you're going to have to go visit that neighborhood yourself and go scope it out. You guys got the money. You guys got the funds. Don't use me as a pawn. Sorry, sir. I, I recently just started learning how to play chess a couple years ago. <laughs> but yeah, they really try to use me as a tool. And I could have probably made some type of financial compensation from it. Loudon Street. But some people are probably like, Tune, you like stupid dude. Like you should have did it because you could have made some some money from it. But I'm not gonna sell my community short. Like they're gonna come here and invest regardless whether I go and make that video or not. So don't try to utilize me now that you guys just found my channel. I've been on YouTube since 2009. You guys are just finding my channel today. So if you're just finding my channel today, you know, don't think I was just born yesterday. I don't know if that makes any, any sense, you know? And I wish him much luck in his endeavors and his and his mission, but, you know? If they accomplish what they accomplish, great. But I don't need to be involved in that in any way, even if there's money involved. I don't care, you know what I mean? Passing Rockland, Rockland Street. And I didn't mean that in any offensive way, sir, if, if, if you're watching, but I'm just being completely realistic. I hate seeing my neighborhood, or I'm very passionate, and I dislike seeing my neighborhood um, you know, get sold out to investors because it's not usually good for the locals. We're passing Ruscombe Street. Now we are passing Windrum Ave. Yeah, because think about it. I could have low key went and did that whole tour, that area that he was talking about, made the bag, had they would have executed it, and y'all would have never knew nothing. And I could have kept that to myself and made out like a bandit. Who knows what the cut was? We're passing Lindley Ave. Passing Wagner Ave, you know, who knows what, what the cut was. And I could have, you know, made out like a bandit. But that's not my character. Like, I'm okay. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Thank you. Come again. Thank you, buddy. Come again. I had a buddy that was from West End, um, West Trinidad and Tobago. And his pop had a real strong accent. He kind of sounded like an Indian. Um, well, I think they were, yeah. Um, we're passing Duncannon Ave. But I don't mean that in any mildest way for my Indian brothers and sisters that are watching. You guys are very beautiful. And... You know, I don't want you to get offended. I'm just as brown as you are, you know what I mean? Or probably a little bit on the lighter side, but I am a, uh, I am a brown skinned gentleman. <laughs> Some people ain't gonna like that, but but it's cool. You ain't gonna like me, but you watching. We on Fisher Ave. The only type of approval that I need is from who, 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 who? It start with the G, who, who? Not Godzilla, not Godzilla, Godzilla. No, we're passing Somerville. It's from God. That's the only type of approval that I need. And when I leave this earth, best believe I'm going to get judged in the afterlife. And until then, that's the only approval that I care for. <sighs> we're passing Albert Einstein Drive. Einstein Medical Center, Philadelphia, on my right-hand side. On my left-hand side, we have... Uh, wow, this is... It says Memorial... Oh, Mill Mora, yeah, Memorial School. I thought this was Girls High. Yeah, Girls High on my left too. The Widener Memorial Industrial Training School, for, um, established in 1904. Yeah, I'm over here dancing in my seat, about to start break dancing. Where run DMC when you need them? Like I'm about to start spinning on my head the way I gotta use this bathroom. And then the bad thing is, is I'm like, <laughs> I'm a good bit away from home. So just imagine at the end of this tour. The drive that I'm gonna have to do back, shaking and dancing, unless I find an alley or find some place that looks discreet to like take a quick, you know, a quick leak. All right, we're passing Albert Einstein Drive. I'm about to hit too fast, too furious on y'all. I'm about to start switching gears. I'm about to start chirping this all-wheel drive skirt. Say not. Uh, let me get back on my right lane so y'all can see Albany Transportation Center. My right, we got Yummy Yum Yum, and it's not called Yummy Yum Yum. It's called Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Fried chicken, wings, pizza, grill, kebabs, and more. We deliver. We got beauty supply. We got your home delivery pharmacy. Green side, green side seafood steak. It literally says green side, green side. On my left hand side, we got Philadelphia High School for Girls. Yep. Gentlemen, I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> the school only accepts girls. So, yeah. We got Alany Transportation Center on my right. We're now approaching what the Alany section of the city. Y'all can chime in. You can get on the train. You can get on the bus. There's a little bus center here. Um, Alany Ave. We got a Santander Bank on my right hand side. We got the hosiery town. I guess they sell like, ladies um, penny holes and stuff. Passing Chu Ave. Whoa! What's up, cowboy? Vehicle that 
is in the street. Double parking on a main street. I don't understand why. We're passing Grange Street. Passing Beacon. Um, what's this? F F Philippian Baptist Church. It said Beacon of our... It said something about Beacon. Passing Enterprise Rent-A-Car. We are currently passing Nidro Ave. I'm going to make a left merge in the left lane. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to merge in front of you instead of flying by me like the people in part one. Um, we're making a right. We're getting back in the right lane. We're passing checkers. We're passing champ loss. There's a police district on my left. I explained how somebody got hit right in front of the police district. Many people get hit on Broad Street. I've Within the past decade, I think there's been like four or five hit and runs of people like fatality getting, um, you know, their life taken on Broad Street. We're passing Spencer Ave. Ride 8 on my right. Zen Spa on my left, Aldi on my right, Aldi Food Market, Bubble Tunnel Car Wash, we're passing Speedway, we're passing Godfrey Ave and Stenton Ave on my left, I'm going to slow down here, Skirt! just because I ain't trying to, A, cause an accident, B, I don't know if there's any sneaky cameras here, there's a camera right here in front of me, so there might be a camera right behind me and I don't want to risk it. I usually come up here, I go right. As a matter of fact, I should pick up some food. Since I'm up here, <laughs> there's a spot around the corner on 5th and Champ Lodge that I'll be picking up food from. Wow, I gotta use the bathroom, son. Yo, that's horrible, that. For all of history, as long as this video is gonna be on YouTube, viewers are gonna watch this three years later and be like, I hope you got to use the bathroom. <laughs> Look at this classic car right here, baby blue. OG in the sedan. Yeah, that thing looked nice. That thing looked good. Good, good. See, I don't know if y'all noticed. I get excited about older cars. I see the newer cars, like, hey, hey. y'all don't even see me mention newer cars. But when, when I see the older cars, I'll be like, yeah, boy, I like me an older car. I said it in one of my videos. I like my cars like I like my women. Old and mature. I mean, I mean you know, experienced. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. My wife is the same age as me. So, <laughs> yo, left lane. But why is it taking up the whole road? We're gonna make a right, get in the right lane. We're passing Shelton Ave. Shelton Avenue. All right, we got some more residential homes for sale. Four units on my right. Contact Alex Holder. Right hand side, there was four units for, for, for sale. So if you guys want to like, you know, live on Broad Street, live on 65th Ave and Broad Street, this is your spot. All right, we're passing 65th Ave. We got Carousel Child Care Center on my right hand side. Now enrolling. We have some apartments on my right hand side. We got Oak Lane Diner on my left hand side. It used to be a beautiful diner before they knocked it down. We're passing 66th Ave, CVS Pharmacy on my right. HNT boneless crispy chicken on my left. Urban body and auto body glass works on my right. All right, Old York Road goes up uh, up there. I remember going up Old York Road to visit Doylestown when I was a youngster. When I could go with my pop, when I was like 11, he used to go up Old York Road to take me to Doylestown to visit some, some family. <sighs> All right, so we're passing 68th and bro, we're currently at 68th. We have some more residential homes. Next level, it's a business on my right. I'm gonna pray. Higher powers of the universe. God, Father, oh heavenly Father, please allow me to drive comfortably and safely, despite my sensation on having to use the bathroom, me shaking back and forth. I feel like I'm in second grade again and the teacher's not letting me go back room. Um, please give me the strength to not urinate on myself. <laughs> give me a bladder of steel. Part one, you're gonna see me casually drive. Part two, I'm, I'm I'm switching these gears, baby. But I'm still respectful of all the vehicles around me, and I do try to allow a sufficient amount of bumper space. All right, we're passing 69th Ave, and in approximately two blocks, we will be at the end of Broad Street. So yeah, guys, we pretty much covered both parts. If you haven't watched part one, please go watch part one. Drop all your comments in the comment section. Hit it with a thumbs up, you know. Share the video with a friend, share it on a social network because I don't have any other social network. The only social network you can find me on is YouTube. It's the only one that I'm active on. I'm engaging back with the audience when I can. I have over 1,500 comments in my, in, my, in my inbox, so I'm not able to, you know, give everybody a comment back immediately, but I do my best to at least like, thumbs up, to heart you guys, to give you a little bit of engagement, especially on my most recent videos. 
I try not to remain on technology. I try to, you know, stay off of it. So please don't think I'm ignoring you. We're passing 71st and Broad Street. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this was an awesome tour. I enjoyed it myself, even though I'm born and raised in the city and I've been down this avenue a bajillion times. We just passed the 72nd Ave. We are now approaching Sheltonham Ave. This is the end of Broad Street, guys. That is it. You guys just explored top and bottom of Broad Street. So now you can say like you've been with Tune in Philly. Like you, like you have, you're a Philadelphian, man. You, you, you just got stamped because you just went down Broad Street. Nah, but anyway, that's, that's just a joke, guys. So thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, that'd be awesome if you don't want to subscribe you ain't got to but you can turn on your notification But if you are subscribed, that's how you're gonna receive Notifications when I do drop videos because I understand some people say damn tune. I didn't catch it That's probably because you don't have the notification bell turned on you have to turn on the notification bell So that you can get notified when the latest video drops with that being said, this is tune tuning out. Have a blessed day ladies and gentlemen